na mtazamaji na sasa tuzamie hili viwanjani ambapo rais wa shirikisho la volleyball nchini Waithaka Kioni ameaga dunia kwa mujibu wa taarifa kutoka kwa kamati ya olimpiki nchini NOC Kioni alizirai na kukimbizwa hospitalini ambako aliaga dunia. Shirikisho la volleyball limesitisha shughuli zote kumwenzi kiongozi huyo. Jeff Mugire na maelezo zaidi. Mwasisi na mlezo vipaji vya volleyball nchini Kenya waidhaka Kioni ameaga dunia. Kioni ambaye amehudumu kwa muda mrefu zaidi kwenye tasnia ya mchezo haswa kama rais wa volleyball nchini Kenya ameaga akiwa na umri wa miaka sabini. Taarifa ya rais wa kamati ya olimpiki nchini Nok Paul Telegat inaarifu kama marehemu Kioni alizirai kabla ya kukimbizwa hospitalini hapa jijini Nairobi alikoanga We are very very sad because we have lost a very dedicated and very committed and very very fruitful and productive uh, leader is is a mentor to many he's been a mentor to many he's, he's played a key role to putting Kenya on the map where it is now right on top of Africa Viongozi na wachezaji wa volleyball nchini wamegotoshwa na taarifa za kifo chake. Wamemtaja Kioni kama baba mlezi wa vipaji na aliyesaidia sana Kenya kufanikiwa kwenye ulingo wa volleyball. He's walked this path and he has actually cultivated a lot of volleyball in Kenya. He has gone to grassroots to get girls who are so disadvantaged to play the game. He has also mentored leaders who are actually working in his footsteps to put volleyball on the world. Waidaka Kioni alijiunga na chochi kocha Nairobi alikosomea maswala ya uongozi wa umma kabla ya kujiunga na shirika la The Standard alikohudumu kati ya mwaka 1978 hadi mwaka 1979 aliondoka The Standard na kujiunga na kampuni ya Kenya Pipeline mwaka 1980 akiwa Pipeline Kioni aliasisi timu ya wanawake ya Kenya Pipeline mwaka 1984 mwaka 1998 alichaguliwa kama mwenyekiti wa muungano wa volleyball nchini Kenya kabla ya kubadilisha jina hadi shirikisho la volleyball nchini we have grown because of him he has mentored us uh, when we were players now i'm um, a coach he gave me the chance to be a national team coach he was uh, now uh, showing me how i can be the leader of this uh, volleyball family Hadi mauti yake wa Idhaka Kioni alihudumu kama naibu wa rais wa shirikisho la volleyball barani Afrika na naibu rais wa pili wa kamati olimpiki nchini NOC. Ameaga kihudumu mula wake wa mwisho kwenye shirikisho la volleyball nchini kama rais. Safari ya jagina volleyball nchini na barani Afrika wa Idhaka Kioni imefikia kikomo. Aliyafikia mengi kama rais na kuhakikisha kwamba timu za taifa zinafanikiwa. Changamoto iliyosalia kwa viongozi waliosalia nyuma na wachezaji ni kuafikia malengo yake na kufanya mafanikio yake na hata kuzidisha. Jeff Mogire, KTN News, Nairobi. Na baada ya matukio duni katika siku ya kwanza hiyo jana kwenye mkondo wa Singapore Sevens ambako Kenya ililazwa na Ufaransa, USA na Uruguay, Kenya ilimaliza siku ya pili katika nafasi ya kumi baada ya kulazwa 26 kumi kwenye mechi yao dhidi ya Uhispania. Awali leo shujaa waliwalaza Canada 28-14 na wakawashinda Japan 47. Kenya inashikilia alama ya 13 kwenye msururu wa HSBC ikiwa imesalia mikondo miwili. And now Ozzy, you know, just shoving away the Spanish defense, charging down this left hand side again. Puts the head down, grit the teeth as he always does. How many times has he done it for them? Aware of that and start heading back over this way to the right and really right into that traffic. Here is Paul Pla once more offload around the corner is really good for Spain. It's a wonderful breakout for Manu Moreno to stride to the line. They're only under the pump when they're on the back foot, but that's how Spain plays. Offloading, energy, all on top of it. They love to play like this, inserting energy. <laughs> Here comes that energy that you're looking for. Alejandro La Forja streaking away downfield, doing it all himself. One of Spain's best again, oh, almost a little <laughs> juggle with it there. Pops the ball down safely. Half as well, but... Na katika ligi kuu ya kandanda nchini Talanta FC, Vihiga United, Gormahia, Posta Rangers, Bandari FC na Tusker FC zigiandikisha ushindi kwenye mechi zao hii leo. 
Austin Odhiambo aliwajibika na kufunga mabao mawili ya Gor Mahia dhidi ya Kariobangi Sharks. Vijana wa matano Tusker FC wakashinda Sofapaka 2-0 ama 2-0 huku Vihiga United wakilaza Madhara United 1-0. Posta Rangers nao wakawafunga Nairobi City Stars 3-0 huku bandari ikipata ushindi wa moja dhidi ya Kakamega Homeboys. Shafi Kagimu pasi maasum kwa Kebon Fesomondi. Omondi katika nafasi nzuri. Omondi atafanya nini kwa mara nyingine tena nini ile? Atari ile. Professor Mara nini ndani? Austin Odiambo. Austin Odiambo tena. Anafung, anafungia Gor Mahia goli la pili hapa na kuonyanyua tena kwa mara nyingine mashabiki kwa Gor Mahia na mtazamaji kufikia hapo na fika tamati ya taarifa za michezo jioni ya leo nitakuwa narejea na mengi ndani ya muda usio kwa mrefu sibandoke ulipo